This video is about inflation tax, inflation targeting and inflation accounting. Inflation tax has two meanings. Let us look at the first one. Imagine you have 10,000 rupees hard cash. You think it's a lot of money and keep it in locker only to forget about it. As years go by, this money loses its value. Assume that you open locker after 20 years. Can you buy same amount of goods with this money after 20 years? If your answer is no, you are brilliant. Do you remember? You could buy many items with 100 rupees when you were a kid. But why can't you buy that much today? Why did that money lose its value? It is because of inflation. But who caused this inflation? We saw in earlier videos that printing of extra money causes inflation. Only government can print extra money. We will explain why and when government prints extra money when we take up fiscal policy and public finance chapter. For now just know that government can print extra money and spend it. As years go by, government prints more money and use it for its expenditure. Government enjoys this process. But value of your money in locker decreases. It appears like you gave some tax as value of your money decreased and government got to spend more money. This is known as inflation tax. It is to be noted that you have not actually paid any direct tax in this case. There is another meaning to inflation tax. We know that higher wages cause inflation. If you have forgotten, watch this video. Link is in the description box below. All governments want to keep inflation as low as possible. So they may bring a rule. If any company pays more than the prescribed amount as salary, such company shall have to pay additional tax. If companies give more salary, extra demand created by it can cause inflation. So, to keep inflation under control, governments may impose additional tax. This is another meaning of inflation tax. In this case, companies will actually be paying direct tax if they pay more than the prescribed salary limit. Next topic is inflation targeting. In most countries, central banks are responsible for maintaining a stable inflation rate. So, they define a target range. Indian Central Bank The RBI also has a target range for inflation. Current target is 4% with a variation of plus or minus 2%. This means RBI wants to maintain a stable inflation rate of 4%. But inflation rates between 2 and 6% is also somewhat acceptable. Setting such a target range for inflation rate by central bank of a country is called inflation targeting. Next topic is inflation accounting. Every year, companies calculate their profit. When they calculate, their profit seems larger because of inflation. Then they adjust it taking inflation rate into consideration. This is known as inflation accounting. We will cover effects of inflation in next 2-3 to three videos.